Hey guys, it's me, Bebo, and my best friend Buggy is here too. Today, we're gonna learn about one of the coolest things ever, magnetism. Magnetism is the invisible force that attracts the steel or iron. Yep. So magnetism is a powerful force that attracts and repels things, just like Buggy said. Watch how when I try to touch these two magnets together, one will push the other away without even touching. And then if I turn it around, it will attract, like this. That's magnetism. Bebo, how about we do some more experiments to show the kids about magnetism? That sounds like a great idea. Let's go, come on. So all magnets have what are called poles. They have a north pole and a south pole. North poles attract to the south pole. But if you try to put the same poles together, that's when a magnet repels, like this. Isn't that cool? And if a magnet is strong enough, it can actually attract through other objects. Yeah, watch this. If I put these magnets on top of this plate, and I put the other magnets underneath, they hold on to each other even through the plate. That's the power of magnetism. Bebo, did you know the Earth is a giant magnet? What? Yep, and compasses have magnets in them. Hold on. If the Earth is a giant magnet and compasses have magnets in them, I bet we could make our very own compass using the Earth and a magnet. Why don't we give it a shot? Let's do it! All right, we already have the Earth. Let's go make a compass with one of our magnets. Let's go! So if the Earth is a big magnet and I have this magnet right here, then I should be able to make this magnet float on water and have it point north for me like a compass. But first, let's check on a real compass to make sure we know where north is. North is that way. So now, let's fill up our bowl so we can make our magnet float. You wanna make sure you have something to put your magnet on. And of course, you need your magnet. Be right back. Okay, so we know where north is. I filled my bowl with water. Now all we have to do is put the compass together. Put your magnet on your flotation device and just set it down in the water and let it find north. Look at that. The compass pointed north. Fantastic. Let's go tell Buggy how our compass worked. Oh, hey, Bebo, welcome back. Hi. How did making a compass go? Great. We found true north and everything. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Well, while you were gone, I set up another experiment for us to do together. Fantastic. Do you mind explaining it to us? Sure. You see that little yellow magnet right there? In this one? Yeah. Just take that magnet and set it right in the center of that plate. Okay. There. Now, we need that white piece of paper. Now what? Now, just take that white piece of paper and put it right on top of the magnet. There. And now, we need that bowl of iron flakes. Are these iron flakes? Yeah. Cool. What do we do with these? We're gonna pour those right on top of the magnet and we're gonna see the shape of the magnetic field. That sounds pretty neat. Just pour it right on there? Yep. Okay. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Bebo, did you know that they're using magnets to make all kinds of really cool technology? What? Like what kinds? Well, they use magnets to make really fast trains and they use magnets to make roller coasters. Roller coasters? 
That is so cool. Yeah. Oh, we just got a notification. We got an email from a fan. Let's read it. All right. Let's see. This email is from Anthony. And he said, Dear Bebo and Buggy, My dad and I like to look at the moon and stars with his big telescope. That's pretty cool. I was hoping that maybe someday you guys could make a video about the moon and stars and planets. I really like looking at them with my dad, but I don't know anything about them. Well, you know what? I think that's a great idea, Anthony. We're gonna have to try and find a time where we can make an episode about planets for you guys. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Bye.